life with the sound of money. <laughs> well, it went everywhere. Hello, hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If we haven't met already, hello, hi, the name is Quinn. It's very nice to meet you. I am 23 years old, I am saving for my wedding, currently moved back in with my parents to work at their coffee shop to save money for the wedding, and I move across the country. There, there's your previously on Quinn, short and sweet, <laughs> nice, here we go. The way that I'm saving money is by following a loosely adapted version of the cash envelope system from Dave Ramsey. So like I said, I work at my parents' coffee shop. I bring home cash tips at the end of every night. It's cash tips that people give. They also pull the credit tips, split them up between everybody. They dilly dally divvy it up amongst everybody who earned that money there. And so what I'm stuffing for you guys today is those cash tips. So grab yourself a tasty snack or a lovely beverage. I have coffee. Is this my fourth cup today? Yes. And let's just get right into the video. Okay, so getting started with everything right here. This is my handy dandy bullet journal that I've been using for quite a while. It is a scribbles that matter. I am almost done with it here. I do have my new journal. It is a dingbat. I just haven't moved into it yet because I'm just waiting for the month to end and then I'll start on the new one. Okay, so going into my cash envelope spread here, if I can open the book. All right, so this is how I have everything set up right now. I just have my cash envelopes right here. And then my handy dandy pen is this Pilot G2.05. I'm gonna get you guys all zoomed in here in just a second so we can see what I'm writing down. Okay, so right now I'm still just transferring money from my savings into my checkings to pay for bills. Um, the employees have gotten paid. My family just hasn't gotten paid yet because it is a family business. I can go more into detail way later. Maybe not in this video, maybe in another video. But yeah, so just for this one here, just for the simplicity of everything. Right now, what I am paying the bill that's coming up is my car payment, which is $308. So I need to transfer $308 from my savings into my checking. For those of you who are new, I use my paychecks to pay for my bills and then my cash tips from jobs to pay for my weekly spending and my sinking funds since I have been working food service jobs basically since I was 16. <laughs> so I'm gonna you guys all zoomed out so we can see how much I made in tips this week. Back at it again with the silver box. I do have the link down below with something that's similar to this, though not this exact one because I got it in fifth grade. No idea where it came from. Here is where I keep all of my cash tips out of the way so I end up not spending it. This is the money that I threw in the air. And I also have some cash envelopes in here that um, just they fit perfectly. It's really great, nice little storage area for it. Okay, so you guys are gonna see my shadow in the way here for a bit, it's really annoying. If you guys have been doing the cash envelope system for a while and you haven't thrown a bunch of cash up in the air, what are you doing? It's so much fun, it's so rewarding. <laughs> this is honestly actually the first time I've actually done that. It was so much fun. But yeah, there is a, a bit happening with the coffee shop to kind of like explain why I'm not um, stuffing any paychecks yet, though I don't want to explain it in this video in depth because there's just a lot, honestly. Like there's, it's not like an overwhelming a lot. It's not like an upsetting a lot. It's just, you know, a lot to say. Um, so I'm thinking about having another video where I kind of think about making like a cooking video where I make some food, talk to you guys about like what's happening with money wise for me right now with this month and then also talk about wedding planning because it kind of all ties together into one thing. Okay, so just counting up everything that I have so far. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. 20, 5, 30, 5, 40. One, ah, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty, one. So two fifty one. This does include money from Sunday, whereas last week was just up until Saturday. So this does include an extra day of tips, so it'll be a little bit less next week, I think, maybe. So what I say, two fifty one. Cool. So I'm gonna get y'all all zoomed in so we can see once again what I am writing. So once again, gas is only going to be getting $10. So far that's working out amazingly well for me. Food is going to get its 30. Toiletries is going to get its normal 10. And so that leaves everything else is $201 to go towards my wedding fund. Super great. Love it. Um, if you guys are really confused about everything, um, I basically have a video, not basically, I have a video talking about my financial plans for the first half of this year. You guys can go watch it, catch up a little bit. 
But basically, I live in a really small town, so yeah, gas is really cheap now, which is really great for me. <laughs> when it used to be $70, I was putting away a week. Okay, so I'm getting everything all looking pretty, and we'll be right back to stuff some cash. Ta-da! Alrighty, everything is all set up all nice and pretty here for you guys. So, getting started with gas, $10. Five ten. It's amazing living in a town that's so small right now because I still have like half a tank of gas and I've driven I've driven around quite a lot around this town and barely made a dent. It's amazing. Food is gonna get its thirty right now. Again, still a dollar. How do I keep ending up with just a dollar left? I don't know how. Anyways, we go thirty. I don't want a bunch of ones in my toiletry thing. So, one, two, three, four, five. Oopsies. 25, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. Cuckoo. Cuckoo, cuckoo, and the cow goes moo. Don't know what that's from. Anyways, <laughs> toiletries is going to get its 10. So, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Which I still have not spent anything in here. Um, so honestly, I could stop putting money in here. But, ooh, actually, no, I know what I'm going to want to use this for. This is going to be used probably for shoes. Which I guess I could still have my self envelope. But I guess that's kind of what this is now. Because I don't I don't buy anything for myself anymore. Okay, yeah. So my, like, wedding shoes, I guess. Or that'll be from the wedding fund. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But I'm still just going to keep funding this for right now. 10, 15, 20... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four. Thirty-four. Okay. And then my wedding fund, which should be two hundred and one dollars. So twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one hundred. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, two hundred. And oh no, dollar. Okay. I did exchange some bills at the coffee shop the other day for some larger bills. So let's see what we have so far. I'm gonna set that aside because I'm gonna get myself confused. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. 20, 40, 60, 80, 300. 50, 70, 90, 400, and two dollars. Awesome. Possum, because I am going to be definitely, I need the money to buy my fiance's wedding ring. And then I also want to be able to get some little gifts for my bridesmaids for the day of. Because they've been so amazing the past couple of months and helping out with everything. They've been great. Okay, so that's going to be it for my cash envelope stuffing. Woo, so exciting. <laughs> Okay, so that's going to do it for my cash envelope stuffing video here for you guys this week. I haven't seen some comments of people being like, this is great, this is crazy, I should go into food service, blah blah blah, all this money. It is a really good job, you can be making a lot of good money, but if you go back into some of my previous videos, you can also see that you can be making not a lot of good money. So it really does depend on what you're doing in life and how you're feeling. As I said in my last video, this amount of money that I'm making in tips is, I wouldn't say normal for a coffee shop. I have talked to other baristas to see what their average is. I'm just putting in a lot of hours at the coffee shop right now, so I think that's how I'm making a lot more. Also, it's kind of a tourist detail. Like, people don't come to Tehachapi to go to Tehachapi, but they come to Tehachapi because they're driving through Tehachapi. It's a cute little mountain town. You guys can always come to the coffee shop and check it out while I'm here. The more that I think about it, the more down I am to be making that video going more into depth about what is happening with money for this month and then what is happening with wedding planning for this month because there's a lot happening, but it's a lot in like quantity, but not a lot in like emotionally, you know? Things are still looking up though. I'm really excited for everything that's happening throughout the rest of the month and everything that next month has to bring. If you guys like the video, go ahead and give it a like. If you want to see more of my face and see me try to conquer the human race, go ahead and subscribe. You can find me at all of my social media, at Quinn Kaylin. We can chat, become best friends. I have some really amazing internet friends that I've made through this channel, through people just reaching out on Instagram, and I love it. And you guys, guess what? People sent me their ferrets! Aren't they amazing? They're amazing, huh? I love it. Like fluffy little pool noodles that are just filled with love. 
I've never met one in real life, but I'm assuming they're each full of love. You can't have that long of a body and not be that full of love, you know? And I've heard that they're also kind of little devils at the same time, but in a fun way. Just enough to make the day fun. I love and appreciate you guys oh so very much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! We're gonna do it just one more time. Just one more time for the audience. Woo! The funnest game of 52 card pickup ever. It's not 52. I don't think, I don't know how many bills there are.